Fam, fam, fam. Ecamm has really done it this time. Version 4.1 is essentially them opening up the hood of Ecamm, crashing Canva inside and closing it back down again. You can add shapes and linear gradients, blur and effects. You can add animations or video with a green screen and remove the background slash key it out inside the software. No other tools required. You can even copy the effects you have on one overlay item to another. This is a whole new level of functionality in one of the best video creator suites ever created. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today, we're looking at Ecamm version 4.1. There are a lot of features in version 4.0 and we're looking at Ecamm now on the desktop. You're seeing all of the different things, uh, all the different windows that are there, including my finder window. And um, don't get overwhelmed or don't be dismayed by everything that you're seeing. This is Ecamm, all of its raw power. Um, I'm gonna showcase three different things that I think really encapsulates all of the functionality or some of the bigger ticket items that they've put into version 4.1, which is a lot. There's a lot there, but I think these three items are gonna really help us to capture them. And so the first thing is um, I'm gonna show you my overlay, right? This is, um, this is the overlay that I use for my show. It's got the logo in the top. It's got, uh, yeah, so we got the logo here on the top corner and then we have my name on the bottom. And so this is what it usually looks like. I'm gonna move this up a little bit. I'm going to recreate this overlay with Ecamm and we're gonna see how we can replace this. Uh, this was created in Canva. And as, as I said, mentioned before, there's so much things that I no longer need to do with Canva now with version 4.1. So let's first start by showing you a major addition on the screen here, which is this bottom set of icons, which is your overlays window. This is where you can add things. Uh, right now, you can actually go through and add a new text overlay box. So we can just simply add that and you can put whatever you want in that text overlay box. Um, and I, you can add a background, you can do all the different things. Um, I'm gonna get to that in a second, but what we wanna do first is to add a shape. So I'm gonna come back, highlight this right here on the bottom, we are adding a shape. You can see that that's the icon I'm clicking on and this is the shape that has come on screen. It's just a, um, it looks like a rectangle. So let's let's hit the arrow, uh, pencil next to it. And you can see that this is a rectangle. <laughs> uh, we'll move this over a little bit, but yeah, this is a rectangle and um, we can then simply take this and change it to a square, change it to a circle, change it to a hybrid of the two, a squircle. Um, and I'll, I'll kind of showcase what those look like. Uh, there's the circle, there's the squircle. Um, but for purposes of what I'm doing, the rectangle is actually the thing that I need. I want to be able to size it and do whatever I want with it. So you can see now there's robust functionality. You can actually make it whatever you want. And so I'm gonna size it to what I know to be the size of this um, spot right here. And now that we have that size, let's see if we can size it. it. Looks like we're already pretty well sized right there as well. So now that we have that set, let's go back to the pencil. Let's change the, uh, we're gonna change the background. Now I'm going to simply grab the dropper so we grab this dropper here, take that and grab the color from the background. Again, this is very Canva-esque, right? We grab that and we can simply have that as our color and that's now the color of the rectangle. See how that just kind of matches right in there? So we have our, our color for our rectangle done. I'm going to add another shape. And this, is, this again may be where you wanna get some some um, design uh, management in terms of full, you know, organization for your, your, your overlays. So I'm gonna say this is the, this is my LT background. 
right, we'll put our rectangle in there. All right, we're gonna add another, and we're gonna put that in there as well. But this one, we're gonna make this white. Change this to white, snow, it's fine. And we'll make it a little smaller to match the other one. to match this other one here and similar to similarly to how I did this in Canva when I originally designed it I'm simply going to match it up with this this longer overlay and then simply drop it underneath boom so you have layer priority as well <laughs> and now that I have both of those I can link them in the folder here so we just link the 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 LT background, so the two items that are in that folder are now linked, and we can now move it around as one. It's almost like grouping it together in Canva, right? <laughs> so we have that now, and we have our top and our bottom. So we basically have this already replaced. So now all we gotta do is add text. Um, I'm gonna create another folder. So we create another folder, we call this LT text, lower third text. I'm gonna pull that out of the background folder. And in there, we're going to create a text. So now we can type my name finally. All right, Kirk Nugent. And there are many different fonts that we can pick from. There's light italic. I'm gonna keep that one light italic. I think that looks pretty good. Here's another thing that I want you to know. You can actually adjust the spacing on it. This is something new. You could not adjust the spacing before. So if you're looking right here, look right here, you're seeing that I'm actually adjusting the spacing on it. And so <clears throat> I've changed my, uh, let's see here, let's go back and add that to the screen. And now you can see that's on the screen, but it, they, the color is black. So since this text is black, we wanna make sure we change that to a color that will show up on the top of our lower third. So when we hit the pencil on the text, you get this, this whole uh, dialogue here, which is great, but you do want the edit text. And if you wanna get to this quicker, sometimes it's easier just to go to the text itself and double click, get that. Highlight this text, we see the text color here. We want this text to color to be white. Let's save it. Now we can see that against our our, uh, our background, our, our, our lower third. So that's what that looks like. Now, again, I'm gonna double click it because I wanna make sure that the kerning, right, is correct. Meaning the spacing of the letters is correct. I, I want that to kind of match a little bit there. So I'm gonna put that like that. That's kind of how I want it. And move that over a little bit. And then we need to add one more text, which is going to be my handle. All right, at Kirk R. Nugent, we want that text to be black, All right? And we will make sure that that text is black. I'm actually gonna choose the lead color from there. We say, okay, now we have that text. Um, yeah, here we go. Now we have that text and we just have to move it on top of, you can use your arrows to adjust it and get it right where you want it to be. Now we have that, we can literally keep them outside of this box here, but just for the sake of what we're doing, I wanna put them inside the lower third background box and that will link them so we can move them all together. So now, we can actually turn off this lower third because we have our own built right within Ecamm. <laughs> you know, you might be saying, hey, what happened to your logo? Let's add the logo, All right? So now we have our background stuff here. Let's add the logo in. So this is my logo. Um, and you can see that it is a little bit bigger. One of the things you can also do with Ecamm is you can crop in any overlay you can crop in any overlay. I'm gonna repeat that again. You can crop in any overlay. <laughs> so we've got this on screen and um, I'm going to just go ahead and crop in on it. So here is the, I'm gonna make sure I get to the line here. 
there's the line let's crop in on that come all the way towards the w let's crop in from the top right there let's crop in from the other side right over to the h and let's crop in from the bottom i can't see that quite so i'm gonna move it a little bit there we go crop in right up to where it says how it all works and that gives me my logo i'm gonna put that where the other one was maybe this is a little bit bigger so we can size it down now but you have all this functionality right inside ecamm i have my logo it's here and you could say i'm done but since we have functionality i'm going to hit this pencil and we have all of this stuff here so let's give the the logo a border let's say a color let's say okay we want it to be uh black let's do a, that same licorice color okay so now you can kind of see that on the screen there and we can adjust the order size i want it to be fairly thin um but i also want it to be a gradient so what other color would i pick hmm, what would you think of course purple <laughs> of course but of course purple so now we have this black and purple border around it and i can actually choose what portion is black and what portion is purple so just by going around the circle maybe i want it to be in this bottom right here so you get to decide just by using that control and then i can actually round my corners just a little bit so that it's not so sharp and that's what my 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 logo is looking like now now i can also uh change my shadow i can put a drop shadow on the, the logo i'm going to move this logo over here a little bit so you can kind of see this a little bit better let's let's take the shadow off you see that shadow is gone now putting the shadow back and we can again change decide what color we want that shadow to be and you can see what that looks like um, or i can just leave it at black that's my shadow now and i can change the opacity so it, it does have a, a, the opacity i option here you can change the blur um, and then you can actually change the angle you can move it from one side to the other and you can change the distance the distance i mean that's this you have literally all of the functionality you would ever need for design right here within the system uh without having to go and get all that design stuff from somewhere else and if i want my gradient border that i made my purple and black border around the thing to have motion i also have that option here as well boom motion and so now it's actually moving around that i think is actually a better logo this is actually a better overlay a better one person uh, screen than i had before now some of you are saying hey you had a purple line on that last one you don't have that purple line now i'm so glad you said that let's make sure we get that onto the screen as well so let's lock this in place move this above let's get a, another shape on screen we're gonna move this up and change its color very quickly to the purple that we have already saved in our in our brand colors which is what that is at the bottom in case you didn't know that's our brand colors and now we have this okay, we're probably gonna have to move it while it's still in place so we have this here We've got it lined up, lined it up with the bottom right there, and then let's make it really small. That's it. Now I've got my my line. Add that up to the end. I can pull this up a little bit so it's not covering my my handle. Now I've got my purple line done right this is the entire thing we've redesigned the whole thing right here in ecamm and so that gives you that first section the first and second sections recreating the overlay adding the logo the last section however is something that is absolutely mind-boggling i'm going to actually show you this video here first this is my good friend we're going to call him zach the zebra <laughs> zach the zebra is uh moving around on the on a green screen and i'm just showing it to you on screen real quick so that you can see that this is the mp4 file zach the zebra is on a green screen moving around i'm going to drag this into my show and current scene 
drag that. It's going to ask me some questions here, right here. It says add animated overlay. Do you want to add this file as an animated overlay? Yes, you could add it as a full screen video, but it will take over the entire scene. So you don't want to do that. You want to add it as an animated overlay. So I add it there. Now Zach the zebra is chilling with me here, right? He's chilling with me. I am going to actually make Zach a little bit bigger. I'm going to make Zach um, loop because I mean, you can change that. You have all this functionality right here in the drop down from any of your overlays that you play. And so when Zach's done moving around at the end of his 27 second video, he just goes back to the beginning. So I might want Zach somewhere here. I don't know, maybe on the table or something like that. But you're probably saying to yourself, this is a green screen. What are you going to do with this? <laughs> I'm so glad you are here asking these kinds of questions. I'm going to hit the pencil here. Let's do that one more time. I want you to see what I'm doing. Hit the pencil right on this, this, this next overlay. You can see the overlay down here in the current scene. I am. I can simply go to blend mode. You see it says here blend mode is normal. I'm going to say blend mode. I'm simply going to select green screen. Now, I want you to see that in blend mode, you have darken, multiply, color burn, linear burn. All of my design folks right now are going nuts because they're like, wait a minute, you have all of that? Yes. And I can actually take Zach and have him fly in from the left, flying from the right. I can have him come in and doing a spin. There's so many different transitions that they've added in version 4.1 as well. But I'm simply going to take normal, take it from blend mode normal to blend mode green screen and bang. There is Zach on screen, like as if he had been chilling on top of my keyboard this entire time. So I'm just gonna put it right there and allow him to walk around. That's Zach, hey Zach, it's good to see you. That's Zach the Zebra, green screen, brought it into Ecamm. No, no other functions, features, no other software required, brought it right in, keyed out the, uh, the, the animated um, zebra and I'm good to go. That's just the power of all the different things that you can do with this platform. While Zach's walking around, I'll share this one last one. Um, another component that they've added that I can't show you right now because it's not, we're live, is that your super chats, if you're a YouTuber and you have super chats, you can now have that as an additional tab in your comments and reactions section. So most times you have your comments and reactions and you have your favorites. You can now have another tab that is just for super chats. And anybody that does send you a super chat while you're live, it will automatically add it into your favorites. So you won't lose those super chats. You can always go and find those super chats and shout out those people. And you can always have a tab for your super chats and shout out those people. So much functionality in version 4.1 of Ecamm. Our last Ecamm videos were back on version 3.9. So I didn't cover features in version four, like 10 guests in studio, streaming to 10 destinations at the same time, isolated video. What about the camera switcher, which can turn one camera into three and a built-in speed test? With all those features, I've got some serious work to do. Let me know which feature I should cover first in the comments. Learn more Ecamm magic in these videos.